Thanks for having me. <laughs> I feel so honored. She booked some of her favorite comedians. Also some of my favorite comedians. <laughs> That's what I say. Did anybody else uh, ride their bicycle here? <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> Still the only one? <laughs> only one? Oh. Obama was going to change things. <laughs> <laughs> I ride my bicycle around town and uh, it's really good, it's really enjoyable. Uh, I, just, uh, I just went on a bicycle date last night, it's a new thing I'm really trying to push. <laughs> Uh, if you think dating in L.A. is hard, <laughs> ladies, try bicycle dating. <laughs> I have a bicycle and I bought a second bicycle just so you have no excuse. <laughs> Turn off the lights for that joke. <laughs> and the back on. <laughs> it's always a good sign if you're getting asked on a date. Uh, and say, hey, and wear sensible shoes <laughs> and a windbreaker. <laughs> Something not too heavy because you don't want to be all sweaty and gross and then sit in a movie theater for two hours. <laughs> it's not going to happen. The downside to riding a bicycle, besides all of that, <laughs> is there's no car horn. So when I see an attractive young lady such as yourselves, uh, walking down the sidewalk. I cannot show my appreciation for your physical beauty by utilizing my car horn. Instead, I have to yell, Hot! You're hot! I think you're hot! Riding a bicycle. I have a helmet and a backpack on. <laughs> I'm totally sweaty. I'm like a glazed ham. <laughs> but I think you're hot. Hop on my pegs and we'll pedal off into the sunset. All romances on a bicycle. I take the subway with my bicycle. Anybody take the subway? No? No one? Does anybody know that Los Angeles has a subway? Yeah. All right, here we go. There's steps forward. <laughs> That's towards progress, the march towards progress. Uh, I think more people would know that there's a subway if there were subways, the restaurant at every subway station. <laughs> I don't want to see that happen. A subway and a subway, because you could go down there to get like a foot long turkey breast sandwich or whatever and then you'd be like, oh, for a dollar I can go to Long Beach? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll go. Long Beach, here I come. I've got four hours. <laughs> that was good, I'm glad I brought my book up for that one. Yay. That one went over well. <laughs> trying to lose weight, everybody's trying to do it. I'm trying hard, but my problem is no one believes me. <laughs> you know, people will be like, hey, you want a piece of cake? Come on, have a piece of cake. It's John's birthday. Come on. I'll be like, no. I'm, uh, you know, really shouldn't. I'm trying to, you know, it's after 10 o'clock at night. I really should just not go with the cake plan at this point <laughs> in the evening. They're like, oh. Just have a piece of cake. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> never believe me. I think I'm joking. They're like, uh, can I get the, uh, I see on the menu that you can get the seasonal fruit as a side? Can I get that? Like, I'll just bring you some onion rings. <laughs> bring you some onion rings. I just want a little, oh, side of ranch? Okay. Okay. Oh, well, we'll be never happens with me. Uh, Daniel Stewart's going to be coming up later. And, uh... When Daniel Stewart is up, I like to, or in the audience, I know she's in the audience, I like to share a story from my sex life, or an attempt at one, uh, for her to later analyze and break it down for me. Uh, 
because she's good at that, and also events in that chart of my life happen about as often as Daniel Stewart <laughs> is booked on the show, which is... You know. uh, recently, though, recently uh, I went out on a date. You know, I we went to uh, Thai food because that's trendy. <laughs> that's hip. I like the Thai food place as a dating option because girls, once you get there, they're like, oh, guess what? I'm a vegan. So everything I can't eat. Well, maybe we should have got on the bike ride. <laughs> <laughs> so you can find good tofu dishes at the uh, Thai place. And then, you know, go for a walk and then yogurt land. I mean, it's, I'm really trying hard to conform because the bicycle dating not working. <laughs> you know, and then at the end of the day, kissing, and then she's like, you know what? We shouldn't. I'm like, fine, I'm a gentleman, okay, I get that. It's a failed date, I understand. <laughs> But her diagnosis was, I mouth raped her. <laughs> I said, no, we kissed, yes, but then you said no, and I stopped. So, it's a failed date, but it's not mouth rape. I don't think, when you say mouth rape, other images are being connoted there with that terminology. I mean, I know I have the internet. <laughs> not work. That was dirty. That left you a of... I thought this guy was in the right basket. I have two friends in the audience. Got them here. Yay! Come up. And his new fiance, Stacy. Give them a shout out. Elliot is saying he's also my friend now. And Bill. Uh, I was even going to give you music, but I don't know the passcode on your iPhone. As intended. <laughs> As intended. <laughs> Such is the point of a passcode. <laughs> Clement and his fiance came to the show because they're like, hey, we're getting married. You gonna come to the wedding? Which is like the ultimate. If you've ever had a friend who's like, hey, what are you doing on Wednesday? It's just happened to be downstairs. Joseph Lumba, what are you doing on Tuesday? Uh, what are you doing on Tuesday? I always ask that person. Like, come play Dungeons and Dragons in my apartment. I have plans. <laughs> Don't know what they are yet, they're in formation. <laughs> My wedding is the ultimate one of those. Come to our wedding. Okay, it's in Hawaii. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. That's great for you guys. I'm still saving up to buy a new pair of pants. <laughs> That's where I'm at. I'm happy for you. Why don't you come see a show? It's free and it's six blocks from where you live. <laughs> That's what I said. And I'll ridicule you on stage in front of a room of strangers. Thank you very much for coming out.